Now, we kickstart our bulletin with dozens of families in Garissa whose homes have been destroyed or swept away by floods are trying to pick up the pieces. Some of flood uh, victims have found refuge in temporary rescue centers, and NTV's Yusuf Mahat Abdi visited some of the centers and now reports on the flight, or rather plight, of uh, the families who each have no access to basic necessities. In Kamuve village, 45 kilometers <coughs> from Garissa town, we find what has become the new home for families who lost their homes due to flooding. Mwana Juma is one of the women who is trying to pick up the pieces after her house was swept away by floods. She managed to rescue one child and lost her youngest son. Hasa kulala kuamuka tu kule tu kutoka kujisaidia kuweka mguu chini tu tukakuta sasa ni mambo ya maji sasa ile muda sasa kitanda ni ile ya kienyeji sasa ikawa imeanguka ime sasa kule kuanguka na maji vile ilikuwa inakuja mbio ikawa imebeba watoto wawili sasa bahati mzuri mmoja akajishikilia hasa mmoja ikawa ameaga amekufa na maji amezama katafuta kapatikana amekufa since relocating to this temporary rescue center, Mwanajuma says they face many challenges, the biggest being lack of basic necessities. Hakukuwa na chakula yote. Na ile chakula nilikuwa na chakula kidogo, mafiriko yote imebeba. Pandi wa chakula, upandi wa vitu ya kulalia, upandi wa vyombo yote imeenda na maji. Nimetoka tu na watoto wangu peke yake. Moving a few kilometers from Kamude, we visit Nadir Primary School, now a refuge center for flood victims. Here we meet Habiba Kuso, a mother of nine, prepare some beans for her children. It is the only food she has, having lost her farm, her sole source of income, and all her livestock to the floods. I am currently staying at the school with my nine children after our homes and farms were swept away by the floods. We don't have anywhere else to go. And though we've been here for five nights, we are facing a lack of food. We are relying on the mercy of God. Most of the people we met say their leaders are not doing enough to address their plight. We are saying that the government has been able to get out of the way. We are saying that the government has been able to get Sile wakati wa, 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 ya campaign peke yake, ile wakati ya shida serikali lazima iangalie watu yake na wasaidie wananchi ya, ya, ya Kenya. Action Aid Kenya delivered essential relief food to families residing in displacement camps. We've managed to distribute food and non-food items for 80 households in uh, three locations that are in uh, Nanigi Ward, Fafi sub-county, uh, with the major beneficiaries being women as we know. Uh, when disasters happen, the people who are most vulnerable and are at risk are women and children. Sections of the main road from Nairobi to Garissa have been destroyed, making it difficult for traders to transport goods to Garissa. On the ground, the price of commodities has nearly tripled. I'm posing a big policy question to the government. The same way they have been able to regulate and control fuel prices is the same way we also expected them to come up with a policy to make sure that they are able to regulate food prices. Because right now food is very expensive and now you can imagine somebody who has been living in, in an IDP camp, uh, they are not able to buy food because the prices have tripled, which is very unfortunate. And I think the government must take stand action against this business community. Residents are advised to remain vigilant and refrain from attempting to cross flooded areas. The government warned yesterday that over 50,000 people in five counties, including Garissa, could face consequences as dams approach full capacity, awaiting release. As the weatherman continues predicting more heavy rains in the coming days, some of the families who have lost all their belongings are now praying for ease as they seek humanitarian assistance from the government and other well-wishers. Yusuf Mahat Abdi, NTV, Kamude. Garissa County.